right. Sound, All right, here we go. So this is um this neck here is gonna be a big, huge neck. I started out rough like this. It's a piece of Honduran rosewood. So it's gonna be gorgeous too. Nice swirl in that neck. Solid slab neck. It's uh looks like it's ten quarter, eight quarter, two inches thick. It's plenty big enough to make a slab neck. No fingerboard, this is the fingerboard. So um this part will glue into the body and the pickups will sit one, two, three, and the bridge will mount right to this. The uh fender bridge or a brass bridge, whatever I decide. And this will be a neck through guitar. I'll put it into a piece of soft wood like mahogany or swamp ash because this is super hard. What's great about rosewood is this. Honduran rosewood is a famous wood. It's famous for, um, for they make marimbas out of it. So they cut each block and then uh, the block, they beat on the block with hammers and it makes musical pitches. So this is going to be an awesome, very resonant, very tone friendly neck. It'll be bright because this is super hard. It's 2000 or something like that, 1900 on the Janka hardness scale. Honduran rosewood. It is awesome. This is a piece of uh, flat saw. And this is quarter saw in this way. But uh, with this type of rosewood, it's so hard. It doesn't matter whether it's quarter saw or flat saw. And it's super dense. And I've had this drying for 10 years. So I cut this out 10 years ago, 2008. Right. And I can't guess. I mean, I could try to put a slight bow in the neck. Then when it back bows back, it'll back bow flat, and then that's kind of a crapshoot. And then when the strings go on, it'll pull it into the right relief for it to play right. Be a lot of neck leveling involved. I have to be a lot of, be a lot of stuff involved with that. And then, all right, man. Nice. Oh, look at that. They sound low on fuel. What's that? Mean? I don't know. We gotta get some, huh? Nice. Nice, nice. It's gonna go all the way into the body. Dude, you need like your own bench with the vices and all the fucking tools handy. Oh yeah. You better cut that out of the video. You're absolutely right. You gotta have. No, you can be. You got your different projects up there on different slots. Oh, baby. Listen to that. What do you think that is? Is that some kind of... Um, I don't know. We should ask Yo-Yo Ma what it is. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice board, man. A nice cedar board. Right, I guess we could make a slab guitar out of that. It's not too heavy either. It'd be a lightweight guitar. Probably with a spruce top. Cedar. That'd be something, huh? I'd have to reinforce it. Look at all these slabs over here. Chechen rosewood, purple heart, paduk. Paduk is a nice thick wood. You could do the whole fingerboard. It'd be a heavy guitar. You'd have to chamber it. Yep. Oh my gosh. This huge Bocati board. My gosh. It's going to be expensive. Some of these are pretty expensive. That, that Palm Mahogany is 3800 I could probably get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guitars. Out of that slab at 380 a guitar my cost just to make the guitars it's 400 bucks a guitar in wood but it'd be one piece of mahogany um i'd still have to put a fingerboard on the mahogany or i could epoxy the frets in sycamore nice nice big slab yeah that's the way to make a guitar right there no doubt oh somebody bought this one yeah, what is that stuff? Kiat. K-I-A-A-T. I don't know what that is. Nice. It's it's beautiful. Do not move slab. Oh, yeah, this is uh, five inches thick. 
Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, Matumi. Mm -hmm. I don't know this word, what it would sound like on a guitar. Uh, oh my gosh, look at all this ebony. This is all ebony. Gosh, she's got more ebony than anybody. That's crazy cool. Here's some rosewood here. I wonder what kind of rosewood that is. Oh, I gotta see that now. That's Ziracati. That's what that is. Nice. Oh, look at these big slabs. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's got the slabs here. I could definitely get get some. Uh, I'm gonna have to buy a few to make some one pieces. I wonder how dry they are. These have been here for a few years, so I know these are dry. This is Wenge. Mm-hmm. What I really want is these slabs back here. Those are mahogany. Those are big, fat mahogany slabs. Those are five inches thick. I can make full flying V's with 12 degree neck angle and everything out of a big slab like that. One piecers. That's the way to go. Of course, a slab like that's going to cost me like three or four thousand dollars instead of three eighths. I mean, a five eighths because of weight. The problem with these necks is when you go wear them on your guitar, they, they want to pull the guitar down this way. So by making the headstock a little less thin, this side looks like it's about five eighths. That's standard. This side's a half an inch. I'm going to make the whole thing a half an inch. I got to work this side over here a little bit more. And um, I'll have to get some special tuners for it. But it's it's already kind of neck heavy because it's it's probably around four and a half five pounds this slab right here but uh i've made it uh, right now it's mm, almost an inch thick so it's going to get down to about uh, i'm going to make it probably a really a thin neck sort of like a super thin line gibson you know because it's so stiff you can get away with it it's going to be awesome